this is Restaurant Serenade. And that's me doing what I do best, award-winning contemporary French cooking. I'm a Culinary Institute of America graduate who trained in France. Running a three-star restaurant can get pretty chaotic sometimes. There's ups, downs, highs, lows, everything in between. Some days I just need to get away from it all. But that doesn't mean getting away from cooking. Today, I'm going to show you how I cook at home. Welcome to Seasonings with me, Chef James Laird. Most chefs dream of having Porsches and Ferraris. I don't know why, but when I was little, like two and three, I dreamt of having chickens. Let me introduce you to Roosty. Here he is. Everybody thinks it's such a mystery to poaching eggs, but I'm gonna give you a few simple tips that are just gonna take the mystery out of it, hopefully. So we just kind of grab them down here, cut them. Just a few snips. We picked our lettuces, we picked our herbs. Now we're gonna make a beautiful, fresh salad. Let's cut some tomatoes. Cut one big, cut one on an angle, cut one in half. Just give it a little different kind of architecture to it, you know? We're gonna make a beautiful summertime favorite tomato gazpacho. Only we're gonna jazz it up with watermelon. Fresh watermelon, no seeds obviously. Put into the blender. So now we have a puree of the watermelon tomato. We're gonna season a little bit of salt, not much. A little bit of extra large oil. These look like the olives that you get in your Greek salad at the diner, actually. It's nice. Obviously, when you think about garnishing something, always use the items that you're used in the soup or in with the salad. Summer tomato gazpacho with watermelon. Okay, we have our fresh herbs that we just picked from our garden. The fennel, the basil, the parsley, the thyme. We're gonna prepare a whole roasted black sea bass with fresh herbs from the garden. And we can throw a little bit of cracked basil on top there. It's really whatever you like. Roll it around there. High heat for like a minute. And then I'm gonna turn the grill down on medium. We're gonna put in some lemon zest. Let's go some fresh pepper. Let's take a look at our fish. After the seven minutes, I flipped it over. And then once you go to the, you take the top layer off, lift out the bone, it's delicious. Now we have, take two of the same dish. Martini and vodka, watermelon. Two, three ounces of vodka, any flavor will do. We have our puree of tomato and watermelon. Top it off, shake it up. Nice and cold, martini glass, nice and cold. A nice garnish would be, you know, martini with olives. Let's say martini with black olives. Take a little, little slit of the olive there. Enjoy.